welcome to AMHQ Weekend. Do not adjust your television set. It is us. It is Sunday, <laughs> September 18th, 2016. I'm meteorologist Maria LaRosa. And I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarris. You're probably thinking these are some different faces yes. that we normally don't see this time of the day. So Kelly is off today. Right. Mm -hmm. So we and Dr. Postel is off and we're going to try and fill those shoes. You're going to see actually Reynolds later this morning. We let him sleep in because he was out late in the field <laughs> yesterday. So a lot going on. We're going to bring in Carl Parker as well. He's joining us at 7. That's right. <laughs> and you'll be back on your normal shift next weekend. Yes. Right. Exactly. Okay. It, not actually unwanted, right? Where you have so many areas that are just parched. Right. So it's good to see some of those showers all the way from the northeast and falling right along that cold front to the southeast. Yeah, some sunny conditions across the nation's midsection. A few of you waking up to a little patchy fog, but that will give way to some nice clear skies this afternoon. I think a lot of us will be talking about the temperature part of the story, too, because <laughs> we're still feeling like summer in so many areas. I mean, right. Nashville, mid-80s, Atlanta, you've got the showers and thunderstorms in 81 for now, but we're going to be talking about warming back up. Absolutely. In Dallas, 93 degrees, so mm -hmm. you're going to be feeling like 100 by tomorrow again. All right, so that's a, for the Red Sox-Yankees game as the Sox go for the sweep. That's a big one, right? Big game. All right, we're tracking rain right now all the way from down East Maine in through central New York, central PA. Nothing severe. We actually did have some flash flood concerns earlier in western New York. Again, an area that desperately needs the rainfall. That has, allow, has been allowed to expire. But know there's that potential to put down a lot of heavy rain. This is a slow-moving part of our system. We're still waiting for the cold front to catch up and move on on through. Again, sort of good news, right? We're going to talk more about the drought in, in, uh, later in the show, but you can see through the day today some scattered showers and thunderstorms pretty much in areas that are seeing it right now. Holding off on some of that rain, places like New York into Boston, D.C. as well. So if you're doing the beach thing and you're getting up early to take that morning walk on the beach, looking good. It's not until later tonight they have those showers moving through. Keeping that in mind, know that we've got some influx of moisture, tropical moisture that may take a few of these showers up a few notches as we get in through tomorrow. Yes, Julia enhancing some of that moisture, funneling in uh, out ahead of that cold front. So it's slow to get through, relatively speaking. Just keep that in mind for your morning rush. Maybe places like New York and Boston. Set that alarm clock 15, 20 minutes earlier to give you that head start. Because look at that, one to two inches of rainfall still to come here as our front moves through. And again, it's an area that desperately needs it, but timing wise may not be so ideal. So some of us getting it as we're wrapping up our weekend plans, others including Boston, New York and Baltimore. Uh, you're looking at showers and thunderstorms for that morning drive, getting the kids off at the bus in the morning time and then some of the lunch hours looking better though for the evening drive in so many places. Jackie. Well, Maria, the South also dealing with some scattered showers and thunderstorms to finish off the weekend. We're checking in with Atlanta, Georgia right now. We've got a live picture for you and a good chance of a few thunderstorms this afternoon. So you might want to think about bringing some rain gear with you if you're heading out this afternoon for the Braves game against the Washington Nationals. Here's a look at the Atlanta forecast. I do think we could see some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms mid to late this morning. First pitch, by the way, at 1235. I think we'll have a better chance of getting some showers and thunderstorms later in the afternoon. So make sure you take cover when you hear that thunder roaring. As we take a look all across the southeast, places like Atlanta up towards Knoxville, maybe even into Nashville getting some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Also seeing some of that action around Tampa and there you can see those showers and storms into the Carolinas from Julia. As we go forward through time, there you can see we're uh, tracking some thunderstorms east of Nashville. Lots of lightning with this in southern parts of Kentucky and uh, nothing very severe right now. I think our severe weather risk is relatively low today, but we'll keep our eye for the threat of some gusty winds. Here's the forecast over the next several hours. There you can see some of those pop up showers and thunderstorms and tracking this big complex that's pulling out of Oklahoma into Arkansas later on this morning into the early afternoon hours. That's more of a concern of seeing some damaging winds with that. And then as you can see, it's temperatures heat up throughout the day today. We'll see some more wet weather moving into parts of Alabama as well as into Georgia. Here's the forecast for Pensacola. A beach day, mm, maybe not the best. The earlier you get out, I think the better off you're going to be. High temperatures today are going to make their way into the middle 80s. We'll have a lot of moisture in place and still feeling a lot like summer and feeling like a lot of moisture across the southeast once again today as well. As we move in tomorrow, notice things start to dry up from Birmingham towards Atlanta as well as into Knoxville, but we'll watch for that threat of showers and thunderstorms along the I-95 corridor across the Carolinas and all the way through parts of Florida. 
Maria. And Jackie, we are talking Julia now. And if you think about the last few weeks for the tropics, I think stubborn comes to mind. And it looks like Julia is going to be that storm again. Here we've got winds to 30 miles per hour. Tropical depression, Julia. So that status stays as of the latest update. But you see why we can't just kick Jackie out of here. Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Julia out of here. I never had a storm <laughs> named after me. Thank you. And you and not this year. Still not this year. Oh, uh, but uh, we have some shear to the north. But you see that little pocket where there's not shear? <laughs> That's helping and potentially helping over the next few hours the flare up of showers and thunderstorms. And the models want to bring it right into that comfy spot. And so the latest advisory is suggesting that, yeah, down but not out. And it may surprise us with a little flare up of some of the showers and thunderstorms, just enough to keep it around. We think there's just enough to keep the showers and thunderstorms around, uh, especially along the coast. Nothing that's a washout. As we've been sort of talking about the last few days, we're still concerned about the risk of rip current. So while it may be a beautiful beach day in many spots today with the occasional chance of a shower or a thunderstorm related to Julia's flow, uh, it, we are definitely concerned about that risk, especially. So if you're heading out, keep that in mind. So today what you're looking at here, scattered showers and thunderstorms along the coast. We'll keep an eye on that and have a full update with the tropics coming up. All right, and it's all my fault. Fault, right?